What is the funniest lie you've heard a parent tell their children? My flatmate grew up on a farm and was told by her parents that their TV only worked when it rained. She believed this for far, far too long. That is devious. Wonder how the parents had the self-control to not use it and how the kids believed that. Don't touch that. It'll turn into spiders. My friend ripped open a hand warmer once, and when the powder got all over his hands his parents told him his hands would disintegrate by age 30. We looked up what disintegrate meant later that night, and he bawled hysterically while staring at his hands. Good times. Living on the west coast, my friend would show the east coast feed of the night countdown to her kiddos. They were always in bed by 9. Brilliant. Yup, ditto. Worked wonders because I would let them stay up after their 8pm bedtime so they thought it was way later than it was. Then they got old enough to tell time. Darn it. The rumble strips on the highway are for the blind drivers. Took me 7 years to realize. Well played, dad. Oh the classic dad driving by braille joke. As a kid I lost a tooth. Put it in a plastic bag. Slid it under my pillow. Then went to bed early so the tooth fairy could come. When my parents forgot to put money under my pillow my dad said you shouldn't have put the tooth in a bag. The tooth fairy couldn't smell it. This is actually terrifying. I told one to my nieces. I told them that they had to hold an adult's hand when they were crossing the road or else the police will come and arrest them and they'd be put in jail. The eldest one then tried to run across the road by herself, but just as they got to the edge of the road, a cop car came around the corner and she ran back to me crying and saying she'd never do it again and begged me not to let them take her to jail. I love it when things work out. Coconuts are bare eggs. My mom told my sister that they only named hurricanes after girls otherwise they would be himicanes. My dad always told me that the men in charge of naming the hurricanes named them after their wives. I was at the mall the other day and this woman's little girl kept wandering away from her. Then some old lady went up to the little girl and told her that there were people that lived in secret rooms in the mall that would snatch little kids up and put needles in their heads. Little girl's mom was not amused. As a kid my dad convinced me there was a species of mountain goat that had evolved with longer legs on one side so it could balance on steep slopes. I was a dumbass as a kid. My mom told my brother and I that a penguin lived behind the fridge, and if we left the door open too long we'd steal his cold and he'd get mad and come out and bite us. It worked on my brother. I asked my mom to move the fridge so I could pet the penguin. More like silly story with a lie in it. My dad, sister, three, and I, six, were making Christmas cookies when I specifically remember my dad making an odd shaped one. When we asked what it was, he said it was a dragonfly without wings. Fast forward to about two years ago when I find an old VHS tape, pop it in the VCR and it's that very moment. My mom had recorded it, and it was then that I realized my dad had made a dong. That Santa uses Christmas trees as spy beacons to make sure children aren't being naughty. There was a tree in each of the kids' rooms until the youngest was 13 or 14. Ah, life before elf on the shelf. When my daughter was little, I found her fiddling with a child-proof latch on the cabinet under the kitchen sink. Hey, I told her, don't touch that, but I wanna see what's in there was her reply. Poisons, cleaning agents and all the other assorted nasty stuff that makes it necessary to have it locked in the first place is the real reason, of course. But the actual answer I gave her was oh, no you don't. You don't want to open that door. You let the monster out. The monster, she said, with a skeptical look. Aha, uh -huh, we keep a monster in there to help clean the dishes. Watch, I took one of the dinner plates and washed the leftovers down the garbage disposal. Now I've sent the monster his food, and, with a surreptitious flick of the switch on the disposal, the monster came to life. Gurudwahaglugguwalra came from under the sink. See, that's the monster eating the leftover food. Want me to open the cabinet so you can see? No. Don't open the cabinet and let the monster out. Oh, so, are you going to try and open the cabinet again? No daddy, I don't wanna open that cabinet. My work there was done. If you wander off, the boogeyman will kill you and make sausage out of you. My grandmother, to me, 
couldn't eat sausage until I was 13 and realized that there was no way that was true. She was thinking of grooves. They can generally only get you when the lights go out though. Oh no this isn't cola it's black water you wouldn't like it. Grandpa told me that there's a tube connecting my belly button to my butt, and that if I unscrew my belly button my butt will fall off. At the store I work at, heard this from a parent to their child. Every time you touch something, a kitten dies. Kid is a psychopath and starts tossing everything around. When my ex-girlfriend was a kid, she had misbehaved and her dad told her he was only going to buy her one boob when she grew up. As a girl, I would have been so afraid of this lie coming true if someone had said this to me. I was told that if a centipede counted my teeth I would die. To this day, I close my mouth when I see a centipede. I'm over 40 years old. You're 40 years old because you keep them centipedes at bay. In front of the zoo enclosure full of ever randy galapagos tortoises. He's giving her a back rub. Oh, they're trying to play leapfrog. He wants a piggyback ride. The fish are more interesting. We should go look at the fish now. Now that you said this, I don't think I've ever seen them at the zoo not humping. That's not juice. It's camel's blood my sister's attempt at averting her kid's attention from the expensive pomegranate juice. When I would volunteer at the pediatric cancer center, the kids wouldn't understand walking with an IV and would just take off running. Parents started tying balloons to the top of the pole, drawing smiley faces and giving the balloons hats. It was now Bubba who would cry if he lost his hat do they had to hold on to him and walk carefully. Also, most kids aren't special enough to lose their hair. Dragonflies are called sewer bugs and they sew your mouth shut when you lie. I got really grossed out at first before I finished reading that. I read it as sewer as in sewage. I dated a girl who had a job at McDonald's a while back. One mother with two kids came in and ordered a regular set with two kids meals. I guess that at this McDonald's, there were frequently items that corporate was testing. So this woman ordered some sort of healthy kids meal that had apple slices instead of fries, and milk or chocolate milk instead of soda. So my girlfriend was about to ask her do you want milk or chocolate milk with those kids meals but the woman immediately shushed her, saying shhhhhh, just regular milk, they don't know about chocolate milk. I read this as chocolate milk being some kind of gateway drug. My father always said the animals on the side of the road were just taking a nap since the road was warm. That one must have gotten too warm because he took off all his skin. My grandma told us that smelling each other's farts would make us stronger. Worst Christmas ever for us. Funniest Christmas for her. I work at a pet store. There's a lady who comes in every so often for a new better fish. Always a different color for her kids. Instead of trying to match the exact color and size of the fish so they don't know it died, she told them it's a rainbow fish. So not only are they not upset over a dead fish, they are excited every time the fish changes color. They're probably not taking very good care of their fish. When I was a kid, around 5 stroke 6, I was hanging out with my stepfather, who would in every aspect that matters be my real father, outside a store waiting for my mom. I saw a soda machine and asked if I could have a soda. His reply was, do you have a chicken bone? He went on to tell me I could get soda out of the car radio if I had a chicken bone and did the chicken bone dance around the car. He then proceeded to show me the moves of the chicken bone dance. When my mom came out of the store I asked her if I could get a chicken bone. The WTF look on her face was great. My kids have no concept of what coal is, so telling them Santa would leave it in their stocking was more work than it was worth. Instead I told them if they were naughty, Santa would let the reindeer poop in there. One year when growing up my parents filled my stocking with individually wrapped charcoal briquettes. As a child my father convinced me that our Italian last name literally translated to of Caesar and that we were direct descendants of the rulers of Rome. I felt like such a badass until I started taking Latin classes in middle school and realized what a joke it was. I told my kids if they didn't behave in the drive through they'd get a sad meal. That's a hamburger and a spanking. That wasn't a lie in my parents' cars. My parents got me to eat calamari by telling me they were Italian onion rings. 
To this day, not only do I love that crap, but I'll eat anything once because of it. Growing up my parents wouldn't ever tell me what anything is until I tried a bite first. This led me to eating a lot of things I otherwise wouldn't have. There are only two things I ever tasted and liked, but still refuse to eat. Cow brain and balls. My dad told me that he went to school with Al Gore. He said that he would wear loafers with no socks and everyone called him Crazy Al. I believed this until I was 12. Everyone knows he went by Wacky Al. My mother told me that pears were space apples. She told all of my siblings this, and it always worked. As a waiter I serve a lot of fried calamari, fried squid. It's always funny to listen to what parents tell their children when they are trying to get them to eat some. It's fried chicken, or onion rings. Equally as funny, is the reaction when the kid eats it, or when the parents tell them they just ate squid. Was in a surf shop in Virginia Beach, and there were incense burning. Some lady told her 11 year old kid, that it was marijuana burning, and you would die if you inhaled enough. She probably believed that herself. In an effort to keep their dessert after eating out, my parents told us kids that their baklava was made from grasshoppers. Unfortunately for them, this fact helped start a dare game that ended in us tasting it and, upon finding we like grasshopper treats, eating the whole thing. I have, by logical discussion, convinced both my neighbor's girls that my big white fluffy dog is a polar bear, among other things. A mother discovered the mice at the pet store I worked at were eating each other. I quickly removed the dead mouse. The mother was calming her 5 years old child saying she's going to take him into a quiet room and make him feel better. The mouse clearly had half its skull eaten out. Growing up, we got our electricity from squirrels running on hamster wheels. Heard that from my dad. According to my mom, she grew up with candles. Guess she was from a less developed part of the country. Dad convinced us he had a special button to change red lights to green. Literally didn't realize he was bullshitting until I was 12. Not a parent telling it to a kid, but my brother and I would pretend to plug in a third controller on the PlayStation so my young little brother would think he is playing with us. I did that to my younger brother. I would play a single player story mode game and he would be all the bad guys while I'm the main character doing my thing. My mom had me 14 years after my brother at the age of 43. I was told men lies as to avoid the bulls she went through with my siblings. 1. Played though as an outside toy. Found out she lied about this when she made fun of me for not buying some for a child because it was winter. I was in my 20s. 2. The car won't start if your seatbelt isn't on. This one was busted by a family friend who wasn't in on the whole thing. 3. A kid told me my mom was the tooth fairy. She was a dentist, so when confronted she admitted that she was indeed the tooth fairy. 4. Soda is only for grown-ups. 5. Santa actually prefers Jack Daniels to eggnog. 6. It's illegal for anyone under 16 to ride their bike outside of their neighborhood. 7. The dog will tell me if you're bad. I tried to get the dog to talk to me for too long. No matter how fast you run the automatic door will open before you get to it. I'm Chinese. My mom told me that for every grain of rice I waste would indicate the number of dents on my face when I grow up. From then on, even when I dropped a grain of rice on the floor, I would eat it. Never wasted a grain of rice ever again. If you are new to the channel, you can subscribe. I publish new videos every day. Until then, check another video. Bye for now.